Hi guys. <laughs> uh, Theo, that was Carlos apparently. Yeah, go study, Joe. Also, I'm not playing Phasmophobia. Get it right. It's Paranorocyte, all right? <laughs> read right. Read collect correctly. But yeah, go study. Have fun with studying. <laughs> oh yeah, you guys all want your fucking thing. <laughs> <gasps> Prime sub! I don't know why the alert didn't go off. I saw it in chat instead of the alert. Thank you, Theo! I love you lots. Hold on. I'm gonna turn sound alerts on. That's why, because I wasn't logged in. I hate it here. I should have checked that everything was set up. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stream. And... Nothing just happened. I would be lost if it wasn't for you. I am so glad to give it shelter here. I promise to treat it with respect and just <laughs> keep it safe, okay? I promise. <laughs> anyway, how are you, Theo? How's it going? Is that why it didn't work? The fucking sound alert thing is just gone. Huh. Weird. You're great, that's good. It's a Friday night. I'm ready for a little bit of spooks. And then... Shut up, moon! There we go, it works. Also, don't tell me to shut up, that's rude! I don't know why the Prime sub didn't go through. It didn't even register on my, uh... Thing. Weird. Okay. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I was pulling up these little guys. Because you guys always want them. thought that it was Wednesday. I mean, honestly, who knows what day it is at this point? Who's really keeping track? I mean, it might be a Monday for some people right now. You never know. Here we go. We got our little guys. Oh, straight for the dance, are we? Yeah. Dancing because it's Friday, obviously. All right. I'm going to... Oh, Cam's playing CS. Uh, where is it? Where is it? I'm going to finish Paranorcite tonight. So we can check another game that I have actually finished. At least on stream. A second of my orchestra, please. <laughs> nice. I didn't mind being second. I actually preferred it. I had been first. Shadow, why is the first thing you do when you come in just bomb? What? Anyway, good evening, Shadow. How are you, you menace? I didn't mind being second in orchestra because I was second base for most of my junior and senior year. First base always went to, ever since I started in sophomore, always went to Matt because he's just better. And then Natalie was after her and then Nate. But, and then senior year came. I was perfectly fine with being second. I didn't need to be first. I didn't need to be there because it was just difficult, you know. <laughs> just kind of too difficult. Uh, you always just get used to your own, you know. You can never go to someone else's. Oh, wait, hold on. You didn't hear any of that lovely music that I was listening to. Alright. From my understanding, we're almost done. <laughs> poor. Don't, don't be calling people poor, Theo. Jeez. That's like... That's something. What's the word for that? I don't know. Anyway, we should be almost done with this. We'll just go right down the line. That's what we're gonna do. Oh no, they're dueling. <laughs> oh no. Guys, no, don't fight. One of you is a literal Pokemon. 
My god, Shadow, you're actually not doing so good. Hold on, I'm watching this right now. Hold on. <laughs> We're getting this big screwed. <laughs> I'm watching this fight. And Shadow, you can't use a bomb! Oh, oh, it's neck and neck. Oh, you missed? No, Shadow, no! <laughs> you exploded! God damn. <laughs> that was some intense fighting right there. <laughs> you're kind of bad. Damn, you're gonna take that, Shadow? Honestly. And he dances on your corpse? What is this? Okay, okay, hold on. I'm gonna focus. I got I got a game to finish here. Okay. <laughs> Fortnite dance. Damn, okay. Alright. Last we left off, I don't remember. Summary of previous events. Throughout the night, Richard continues to gather information about the cursed stones while Haru lies awake until dawn, preoccupied by the prospects of bringing her lost child back to life. Okay. Theo, you so would. You so would. All right. Shima Mansion. We haven't really done anything with Haru in such a long time because we've been focused on the girls. What are their names? Yaku? Yako? Mio? And uh, there's a new girl that was introduced. I don't remember her name. Anyway. Good morning, ma'am. How are you feeling? Mm, I'm fine. I hope we can make good progress today. How's your curse stone looking? I haven't felt anything from it since sunrise. You know what I really wish? I wish that they had voice actors. Because my I can't read properly sometimes. And, you know, I can lose my voice easily. Because I'm just so loud. You know? Is stream elements getting in the way? Why do stream elements keep popping up? I thought I turned that off. Whatever. I'll have to fix it again. Interesting. It's possible that its powers can only be unleashed at night then. That aside, why are you so late this morning? Audiobook style. I know. Well, I mean, this game seems to have enough of a following now where I would think someone probably has done like a like a fan, you know, like a fan reading of it. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh no. There are unfortunately some things that can't be investigated while the world slumbers. Is the game moddable though? I don't know. I mean, I don't think I I was just thinking like the gaming company itself. You think that if it had like enough of a following now that they would maybe do something with it. But I mean, I think this game originally is in uh Japanese, so maybe not. I don't know. I don't really play um, visual novel games as much, so who knows? I don't know the fandom of it that much, but but I did get some research done in what is the limited time I had. Very well. Let's talk. He's looking a bit tired. He must have been up all night investigating. Yes. Mansion. Yeah, you know what he was doing? He was doing that hee-hee. <laughs> across the city, you know, because he's freaking Michael Jackson. Into <laughs> my bank account. Oh, wait, hold on. I'll I'll fund your war crimes, don't worry. I'm funding your war crimes. There we go. I oh, know, I just made it. <laughs> funding your war crimes. Uh, is this the old mansion where I was born and raised? that it? Surroundings. Not again. <laughs> the town is beginning to wake up once more. The clamor of society is heard from beyond the garden gate. Like any day, a cloud of pollution drifts over from the industrial area. That's it? Is there a mockingbird anywhere? No. Let's think. Thinking. We may be surrounded by curses and death, but it matters little. We only... My only concern is whether I can see my child again. Cool. By the way, there is something I wanted to talk to you about. And what's that? Our current plan is to steal a curse stone that's already absorbed soul dredge, right? But... Hold on. 
I'm wondering if it would suffice to not steal, but instead negotiate with a curse bearer and have them use the right of our purpose. <laughs> this Italian mafia music. I don't know. It's just it's just the music that's there. Hold on. I need to keep you guys entertained. There we go. Oh, I mean, I suppose that would accomplish the same, but do you think it's possible? So long as we offer compensation, it may prove much easier than you expect. Compensation. Cash, for instance. No, you need to pay them in just chocolates. Give them a bunch of chocolate. Just like incentivize them with like a Hershey bar or something. I don't know. <laughs> He's cheating. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There you go. <laughs> that wouldn't be off the table for a family as rich as the Shimas, would it? Of course. Why would... Why any amount would be fine if it... Get the job done. I, I won't let monetary matters lead me to re regret the way it did back in the ransom. Okay, with that option on the table, let's figure out our strategy. Well, what's our strategy? Okay, you said this already. Not the curse bearers. Do you have a curse bearer with whom we can negotiate in mind? Not yet. Surprisingly, it seems the other curse bearers haven't been that proactive about collecting a soldier as well. In one timeline, we were. Um, as far as we know, Shogo is dead at this point. Um, I think the, the two cops have... It's not cheating to be better. I mean, honestly, kind of a skill issue. Um, the two officers should have three of the stones, I think three or four I don't remember exactly but they have a couple you know I can't I can't say anything now because it's just gonna take me longer to actually finish this game okay not yet surprisingly it seems that other curse bears are collecting soldiers did you see the news this morning god it yawned already no I haven't overnight three mysterious deaths were reported in this area right Shogo was one they've yet to announce the identity identities of the bodies found but they've been nicknamed the Honjo Serial Killings. It's garnered quite some attention on the streets. I'm trying to figure out what a good distance my mic should be at. See if you guys can still hear me. You can still hear me when it's this far away. Ooh. Can you guys still hear me? Ah, uh, it's a little less. Oh my. Only three? Only three. Oh, was she hoping for like 12 or something? <laughs> That's what I thought. Even if the victims were curse bearers, just one or two wouldn't be enough. Soul dredge. Hold on, should I like turn it up? What's a good way to turn it up? Does this work? Hello. Actually, it got turned up since last I played it. <laughs> I don't know, horribly loud. Okay. We're at a good volume? Yes? Yes, perhaps? I think we're fine. And for what those cursed stones are capable of, a mere three victims seems a little on the low side. With this little activity all through the night, the curse bearers must be a cautious bunch. I got my mic set up for 20 plus. Is that a lot? I'm guessing it's a lot. Now, why would you bomb stream elements? What did stream element actually? You know what? I'm allowed. You can. Al I'm allowing that shadow. That's perfectly fine for stream elements. <laughs> What's holding them back? Uh, are we not all after the power of resurrection? There may still be some undiscovered victims, but it doesn't seem like anyone has gathered enough soldiers yet. We might have to set up some bait to spur them into action. And then we offer them the deal. None of the curse bearers seem very proactive. I wonder if this situation would be what the mastermind who kicked it all off intended. Now that's an interesting theory. You think there's someone behind this all? I mean, there's gotta be, right? You mentioned hearing an agonized voice telling you to kill when you first obtained the curse stone. That doesn't sound like a coincidence to me. I mean, yeah, all the curse bearers heard that, so... Someone agitated the curses in this area on purpose, and they are likely after the Rite of Resurrection as well. 
So you're thinking this person is not one of the curse bearers. Soul dregs. The it basically is what I'm. What I think it is is basically a soul has. Think of it like money. A soul has a monetary gain, and uh, you need the soul dredge to yes, agreed. Uh, you need to um, what power up the curse stones in order to get the right of resurrection. So it's like a battery kind of thing. Like you need energy into it. But anyone who has an actual curse stone, who's a soul bearer, I mean, not soul bearer, curse bearer, like the main characters all here, they have like 30% of soul dredge in them. So if you kill them, then your curse stone gets 30%. But if you just kill a normal person, that's just like 1%. So of course I have. I saw the response that both uh, Leah and YouTube had today. Oh my god, the fact that they came out like 10 minutes apart from each other, it's obvious that someone just fucking, someone at YouTube was like, Sniper Wolf, you need to like put out an apology so that way things look better. Here, we have this typed up for you, just like post it, you know? Oh, it's this whole thing. I could go into it, honestly, <laughs> because I've been in a few of Jack's streams. I've participated in the bingo. It's all, you know, it's just a mess. And YouTube is just not doing anything. The only reason that YouTube is, Jack is, he is so genuine. He is just so good. You know, he's one of those OG YouTubers that, you know, you just love him, you know? Exactly. See, I think the only reason that YouTube is, like, not being, like, more, you know, whatever, because obviously they have favoritism about whatever, and Sniper Wolf gives them so much ad, so much money, you know? But the only reason that- another reason that they're not being super hard on her is because there's no competition for another video sharing site, you know? Like, what are people gonna do? Abandon YouTube and go to Dailymotion? Well, well no. There's no other site like YouTube. So they know that people are going to stay on YouTube to, you know, do that. Anyway, we're, we're playing a game right now. You're banned for Daily Motion. I think the only reason that I've ever gone to Daily Motion was Daily Motion is basically kind of like YouTube. I've only been on it because I wanted to watch Doctor Who episodes like a long time ago. But these are like the Doctor Who episodes from like the 60s and 70s. And I wanted to watch them. And you can't find them anywhere except for some reason on Daily Motion. Don't know if the videos are still there or if they were taken down or what. But, you know. It's just. You know. Daily Motion definitely has a lot of like movies on it because it has no real. I don't think it has like real like regulations or rules like YouTube does. So whatever you've got a sharp mind ma'am though i it might seem obvious for the mastermind to become a curse bear and collect soul dregs if they were after the right i'm guessing it's nejima nejima might be the soul bear not the soul bear uh, the, the, the mastermind this would be very risky since as a curse bear they themselves would become a target so it'd actually be more convenient for them if the curse bears move less aggressively. That's right. But despite that, they've been inciting the curse bears to commit murders. Why? Let's consider this. What if the mastermind isn't trying to collect soul dregs for themselves? You mean their intention was also to steal the souls while the other curse bears compete with each other from the start? What if, what if they're the mastermind? Sitting back and observing from the sidelines is a safer course of action. Which is why I figured it best for us to attempt the same strategy. So how should we do it? There's still reason to suspect the mastermind could be a curse bearer themselves. To be honest, I want to keep my distance from whoever it is. There's no telling what kind of power they might possess. Whether our aim is to negotiate or steal, we have to outpace the mastermind in making contact with other curse bearers. I wish I could use space to continue dialogue. How do you suppose we do that? How do we, I, I didn't read that right. At this point, all we can do is search. 
If there's a mastermind inciting the curse bears to collect soul dregs, dredge, dredges, can we be sure there's even a rite of resurrection? Hold on. Uh, good question. The right could be nothing but a myth fabricated to spur the curse bearers into action. Seeing it might be for naught, do you want to give up, ma'am? Is the right of resurrection a one times angel? I, I guess, technically, but we did see in the beginning, in I guess the prologue of the game, one of the characters did end up getting like the amount of soldiers that they need for the right of resurrection and they instantly died. So either the Rite of Resurrection isn't real, and if you try to do it, you die, or this mastermind killed us in the beginning to get the Rite of Resurrection. It's still, it te that part technically didn't happen because we went back in time and we're fixing everything, but I think, you know. I, yeah, I think you weren't here when I first started the game. Because I had one stream where I played it, and then I think I played, like, something else afterwards. It was probably Valorant or something, but never understood after all where you never know the truth unless we see for it ourselves i mean i guess it makes more sense now that i'm thinking about it i guess it makes more sense for the mastermind to have killed shogo in the beginning to get the soul drugs that he needs for because now they're okay yeah it's all coming together it's all coming together now you see i'm thinking i'm thinking but we'll do it without using the curse ourselves Uh, by the way, I met a few people who seemed like potential curse bearers last night. I did some investigating into all of them. But I only managed to get detailed information on two. Was it the police officers? You're quick. I suppose that's to be expected from investigating investigator extraordinaire. I appreciate the flattery. Damn, he hit that hard. He went, ooh. Look at him go. He hit that JoJo pose. Oh my god. First, there's Ayame Tono, the girl we talked to before, though she isn't a curse bearer herself. She's a student attending T University of Art. She currently lives alone in an apartment near Mido Richo Park. You, ev you even determined her address? You're not one to be underestimated, Mr. Investigator Extraordinaire. I called every single university with... E Yukioe, 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 and the curriculum pretending to be her parent. That doesn't that doesn't seem good. <laughs> That's definitely a, a breach of privacy. But I went around to check on her phone. Oh no, I went around to check on her place on the way here. Doesn't seem like she returned home last night. Oh, that's kind of. I'm worried she might have run into some trouble. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Didn't you attempt to follow her last night? I'm embarrassed to say, but I couldn't. She shook me. I couldn't keep track of her. <gasps> and here, I thought you were an investigator extraordinaire. <laughs> I'd like to learn more about her, but it would take some time. She is planning to steal the curse stones, just like us. It's best we act carefully around her. It's about the kidnapping. I learned something new about the criminal involved with the kidnapping. It concerns the serial killings. There was a body found at Komagata High School. Oh, right. The person was identified as a school teacher. His name is Kohei Junochi. Junochi. Mm. Do you think he was a curse bearer? Not sure. It's possible. But regardless, this means the two people who knew the truth about the kidnapping are both dead. Hmm. Just when we were getting somewhere. It isn't enough to make me give up, of course. Still, we don't know anything about Michio Shirashi's residence. It'd be wise to pay to visit. Understood. In addition to the three victims associated with the Honjo serial killings, this, there's Michio Shirashi who reportedly committed suicide and the police officer who died at the former Yasuda Gardens. Why would you ban that word? That's that's so uh, fine. Fine, okay. If strange deaths continue occurring like 
so they're bound to inspire strange rumors. Chaos, okay. But those last two have nothing to do with the seven mysteries, no. Should I replace the word with something? Like, should I replace that with, like, another word? Or should I just completely not say, like, if they're saying a bearer, you know? Or they're using a blank, you know? It's true. Both occurred the week before this uh, acquired situation began. Still, it cannot be ruled out. It's possible that the mastermind was involved even with those killings. <gasps> oh my, how? What if there were preliminary steps to awaken the seven mystery... Seven mysteries ducks. <laughs> Can we really assume that they're unrelated just because the timing doesn't match up? Or rather, the police officer's death is so baffling that it'd be easy if it were connected to these ducks. <laughs> the victims... The victim wasn't the type to be caught off guard easily. You seem to know a lot about this. <laughs> Duck. <laughs> I suppose we weren't strangers. My personal life, my personal feelings might be wrapped up in this one too. I see. If you were to investigate this matter more, you might get a lead on the mastermind. You're right. If we wish to focus on the mastermind's identity, this would be a fine point to start. Let's go about the curse bears again. Next is the tall man who was dressed in black. I met him near Kinshicho. He stood out with the way he dressed. I managed to get some good information from her. When did I say it? When did I say it? I said duckses. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. I won't do it. Impressive. What can I say? He works as the secretary to... Hiyaku Soap's chairwoman. I believe her name is Takumi Yumioka. Oh, oops. Sorry. Sorry. Duck bears. Apologies. It's just, you know, the word is so ingrained in this game. You know, it just naturally comes out. I need to train myself not to say it. <laughs> the uh, Hiyaku Soap's <laughs> I banned it. I know because you just love being a menace. That's all. Headquarters of factories are both located in Hanjo, correct? Yes, they've been there for a while, but it's only in the past 10... Don't smile like that. You're just... You're just being a little... Eh. In the past 10 years that the company has shown significant growth. I remember seeing the chairwoman on the news a few years back. She seems to be very shrewd. With the increase in sales, I assume she'd want her factories running at full capacity. But with the harsh restrictions against industrial waste, a lot of the factories with older equipment had to be shut down. That's right, even 10 years ago, there were many complaints about the chemical plants dumping waste into the river. Most companies back then were more concerned with making a profit than protecting their environment, and well, they still kind of are, so... I wonder what a man working for such a company would have been up to in the middle of the night. So he survived because this is a different timeline. On the way there, I stopped by the company's headquarters, but they hadn't started for the day. I should have better luck later. Let's hope you will. Perhaps you're interested in seeing if the right would be beneficial for their product research into beauty and skincare. Ha, huh, now that's an interesting thought. Okay, more about the duck bearers. I ran into one more suspicious young man last night. This one seemed to be out collecting soul drugs, right? Oh, I was gonna say, wasn't it Shogo? So did he not run into Shogo this time around? I guess not. Indeed, I couldn't get a good look at him though, and I couldn't gather enough intel to properly identify him. Well, that's a shame, but I can make an educated guess. Oh? You know that researcher who discovered the ancient text on the Rite of Resurrection, the one that lives near here? His name is Hideke Arashi, and the man I met was very similar in stature. It was a very good educated guess, Richard, I, I think, you know? Oh my, even he is involved? How awfully suspect. Considering his background, couldn't he be the one who initiated the whole affair? I think it's possible, yes. Which is why I decided to refrain from making contact with him for the first, for the time being. Safety first. Yep, that's right. Remember, guys, safety first. Understandable. Of course, I want to learn more, but this isn't the right time to focus on him.
Ah, I turned my mic off and I couldn't turn it back on. Uh, I prefer to assert a certain who else. Hold on. <laughs> I think it's been five minutes. Duck time over. No, it doesn't need to be over. We can keep the duck time going. Who doesn't love ducks, am I right? <laughs> I prefer to assert who else is a curse bearer. First, I'll return to Hiyaku Soaps to see that man in black. The men in black? Men in black. Their headquarters are down on South Wargesu Street. Right, about serial killings. We might even discover more deaths related to the ducks on the way. We should pay attention to today's news. Well, that's all I have to report. Shall we continue with our investigation? What do you want to do? If you still can't use the curse stone, taking a walk should be a fine place to start. Right, let's go together. I want to see what's going on for myself. In that case, I trust, I'll trust i trust you to decide on where we should go, ma'am. Let's think. Where should I go to begin my search? Which places have stood out to me most so far? Well, I don't know what's stood out to you most, but I know what stood out to me most because I have been in those places. Let's go to high school. Because quite a lot happened there last time we were playing. <laughs> Here we are at Ground Zero, Komagata High School. I guess it's logical that the police have got this place shut down. The teacher's body was found here after all. It's as if the students have nowhere to go now that the school's closed. Uh, it seems the officers are still inspecting the scene. The entry has been strictly prohibited. The news has attracted a bunch of curious onlookers, huh? That works in our favor. The more people around, the better we can blend in. Yeah, I guess so. Two people have died. A teacher named Kohei Jonshi and a student, Michio Surashi. Is there anything else to be gained here? Shut up, Moon! Uh, th thanks, Mikey. I can't shut up, okay? Fuck you. How are you, Mikey? Hi. How's it going, Mr. Gold 2? Whatever the fuck you are now. Puffy's live. Boo. Boo! I'm booing you. Uh, he appears to be wary of those police officers. Maybe the police really do have something against private investigators, just like in those detective novels. You read detective novels? He'll go when I played enough after school too. Yeah, 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 whatever, whatever. Uh, you'll get it eventually though, and then you'll rub it in my face. You'll be like, ah, oh, why aren't you gold? Eh, blah, blah, blah. This place is said to be connected with the story of the fool's procession. I wouldn't be surprised if a duck bear decided to turn up. However, I need to find out if that teacher was a duck or not. Just a duck. Not a not a duck bear, just a duck. Everyone who's got the the curses now are just ducks. <laughs> Just a duck, exactly. I expect the curse to the police to be baffled since they don't know Shut about up, the curses. Man. Michelle, please, no, <laughs> you can't be doing this. Anyway, Michelle, how was how was your trip? Where did you go? I saw all the pictures that you posted on Discord. Hi, Michelle. I, I don't think I said that first. The mastermind is Timmy. I solved the game. You're right. The ducks. It's all Timmy. <laughs> He's watching from above with his propeller hat. He's just circling around like a helicopter. <laughs> I can ask around and see what the students have to say. I inquire. Alright, I'll go ask the students about Michio. I'm back, ma'am. Wow. So, what did you learn? That school kids sure love a good rumor. I was practically drowning in stories about Mr. Jonshi and Michio, most of which seemed dubious at best. Not surprising. Most of what I learned was hardly worth a second, though. Thought. But there was one story that caught my attention. Oh? Some believed that Michio is the one who killed Mr. Jonshi. Really? 
The story's got two pieces of evidence to back it up. One of them wasn't news to me. Apparently he's been mumbling that Michio was going to kill him for some days now. A fellow teacher overheard his mumblings and told the students. And then it spread like wildfire, I suppose. Rumors that Juicy don't stay a secret for long. As for the other piece of evidence... A pigtailed girl in their, her school uniform was seen around school late last night. Go on. Although numerous people claim to have seen the girl, not one of them saw her face. Some are proposing it was Michio, brought back to life, or that it was her vengeful spirit. Kill them? I mean, I could. I could attempt to. I can't use my curse right now, but... But it's not like Michio's the only high school girl to wear pigtails. This rumor might have been made up just to fan the flame. Hello, darling. Yes, hello, Dio. <laughs> hmm. But if it were true, I'd want to get a hold of her in order to hear her side of the kidnapping. If she's alive, that'd be ideal. There's still one more, one more thing I should mention. I've discovered where Michio lives. A student had a list of students' dress on hand. Okay, who is walking around their high school with a book like, um, Stacy lives here. Oh, John, I know where he lives. He lives here. Hi, is. Oh, wait. I need to give you something back since you're here. Uh, actually, I can't do it from here. I oh, know I missed some dialogue. I'll give it back. Uh, best part of the whole trip was watching some fuckers from Florida get his radiator. Get best like a bit horn coat. <laughs> what? <laughs> nah, it's okay. What do you mean it's okay? Hold on. Here we go. Everything is right in the world now. <laughs> It doesn't have a book with over a thousand addresses. You don't want it back? Why? You can have it. If you don't want it, you still have it though. So. L? What do you mean L? What? You're in charge now. I mean, not in charge of the entire stream, but <laughs> you don't want it. I mean, I can give it to Theo. Theo Theo's a real one. Theo's been here <laughs> for forever. You mean Mod Moon? I know. Here, I'll just freaking do it right now. What? What? You bitch. You fucking bitch. You can't do this. You can't do this! There. <laughs> Give it to them. I gave it to Theo. Jeez. Why don't you just take the power? <laughs> Theo has been promoted. You are now super VIP. Let's go. <laughs> um, it was live. There's one more thing I should mention. Anyway, Hayes, go play with uh, Nell. Go have fun. Uh, if you're not sick, go have some drinks. Um, I was thinking of drinking earlier, but... Maybe I'll stream and drink tomorrow. She's at work. <gasps> look at her being little. Or uh, look at Nell being a little uh, uh, work worker bee. I don't know. Getting that money. That's that's all I mean. <laughs> I still am richer than you. Ooh, damn, Theo, Theo, you have power now, but do not take it out on Shadow. I swear. I am sad. Oh no, I'm so sorry. You're still sick. I ain't know how mod. <laughs> See, you go into mod mode, you can go into a moderator mode, you know? She works two jobs, so she works too much. No, no, no. I mean, maybe that is a little too much work, but if she can handle it, then she can handle it. <laughs> like, my sister's so I deal with her. Damn. You, you actively took on a sister? Uh, power to you, I guess. I don't know. Would I take on a sister? I have, <laughs> sadly. Um, <laughs> I am in mod mode. Oh my god, he's gained ultimate power now. Alright, what was I doing? Oh right, I was playing a game. I discovered where she lives, doing this on a hand. 
That's an amazing find. I believe all the students actually have a copy of said list. Okay, what school is giving out information? Actually, hold on. Did I have inform did I have access to information? I did. I misspoke. I am mod <laughs> I think in elementary school we did have a book that had like a bunch of information of other students. But it was like it was like in an agenda, like it was like a, a scheduling book, but then also like in the back it had like a bunch of information. I think you didn't have to put info in there, but I think a couple people did. I don't remember that well. It truly worries me how easy it was to obtain what should have been confidential information. Yeah, just a little bit. Imagine what would happen if that information got into the wrong hands. Yeah, 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 it's kind of, you know. Ah. What the fuck is reward requests? Oh, those are the like, um, if someone does like a, uh, ban IRL word or like first or any of the rewards that's the queue that pops up so you can like rec you can like complete them or not complete them well so far it hasn't no sure let's hope it stays that way in the meantime it's now possible for us to visit Michio Surashi's house okay Michio's home I expect her family might be able to tell us more, but it's a hard topic to bring up so soon after her suit. However, it's normal for a high school girl to keep things hidden from her parents, especially if it involves criminal activity. <gasps> criminal. I can imagine the students are uneasy after learning of the murder. It may do them well to stay home for some time, if not for fear of their safety. The police are probably too wrapped up in solving the case to be concerned about the student's mental health. I can see that. Exactly. Everyone, take care of your mental health. It's important. It's important that society provides a safe environment for the benefit of our youth. Some school policies should use some rewriting, rewriting, especially those handling the student's personal information. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I don't want a student being kidnapped on their way back from home ever again. I expect criminals to grow more cunning as time passes. There may be times where the authorities can't keep up. That's where outlaws such as myself come in. He's an outlaw, but he's a good outlaw. What's this about? Uh, actually, just forget I said anything. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Uh, anything else to look at? Doesn't look like it. Is that- is that- Yako and Mio, they're gone. I feel like it probably was. Okay. Let's see. Michio Shirashi's house. Let's go to the child's house. Woo! Alright, where are we? How did it go? I went to visit Michio Shirashi's home. However,. No one seemed to be there. I got no answer at the door and all the lights were out. It seems to have been empty for a while now. There was a stack of newspapers out front. Hmm. Maybe they moved. I don't understand why no one comes to this comes to this house even after Michio's committed suicide. I wonder if this place is okay. It's a bit quieter over there, over here. It is a residential area after all. All these rundown row houses seem really scream working class don't they just want a game of gen one <laughs> oh, i'm so good you are you're just so good at everything shadow that's all <laughs> all these run down but i already read that i've never liked these messy and cluttered back streets they give me the jitters every time it's reassuring to have someone as strong and tall as richard accompany me he looks so unfazed wow he's so tall and strong hello I suppose a detective is used to this kind of thing, always investigating and chasing criminals. I wouldn't be cut out for it. Okay. Uh, social connections run deep in working class areas like this place, so I decided to talk to the locals. I met a few nice old ladies who were kind enough to give me the scoop. 
Turns out the Surashi's reputation really went down the dumps this past year. Is that so? I will give you the quick summary. They moved here about three years ago. Their previous residence was in a better part of town. Michio's father died in a car accident, leaving behind the two of them. Michio's mom, Toshiko, now a single mother, relocated here. At first, they got along with their neighbors, many of which were in similar situations, helping and being helped in return. No longer VIP role. Yeah, you gave up the VIP for the, the mod. How does it feel, Theo? How do you feel? So far, so good. What happened? Well, as I said, their reputation began to go downhill about a year ago. A man rec recognized as Toshiko's common-law husband had moved into the house. What is a common-law husband? Your precious time. You see a pretty, pretty, pretty face. Return to a pretty big waste of my time. <gasps> Marlin, my feelings are hurt. What have you done? I feel the power of king of 500 pounds being my mod status. <laughs> just wait, just wait until uh, if you become a discord mod. Oh my god, you won't, you won't be leaving your computer chair forever, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, his name was apparently Khan Chichori Ayawa. Iwai? Iwai? I can't read. Neighborhood gossip is something else. Somehow everyone knew his name. <laughs> shots? Uh, did I still not turn that off? Ugh. Do I have to take a shot? I'll take a, I'll take a shot. I'll go upstairs and get my lemonade and vodka and I'll take one. Theo! Oh my god. So, what if this her character... Where is booze? Booze is upstairs in my fridge. You know what I should get? Oh my god, wait. Have you guys seen the creeper fridge? <laughs> Did you guys see the creeper fridge? I want to get the creeper fridge and <laughs> put it down here. Put it right behind me so that way, <laughs> you know, it'll be on stream when you guys are just there. The fuck is creeper fridge? You haven't seen the creeper fridge? Hold on. I'm showing you the creeper fridge. Hold on. You can uh, get it here. There we go. Look at this bad boy. Um, look at this baby. Look at how beautiful. Look, you can fit a nice, a nice bit of it. A nice bit of, you know, put some lemonade in there. You can put some vodka in there. You know, keep some cans in there. <laughs> it's a giant creeper, be careful. I know, but for cold drinks, it's worth it, okay? For cold drinks, how much is it? A hundred dollars? Hmm. You know what? I will take it. I will take it. I would totally get it. <laughs> uh, juggernaut machine mini fridge. Speaking of Juggernog, oh my god, wait, my fellow Valorant players, have you seen the new agent? Because if you haven't, um, where have you been for the past 24 hours, honestly? What Xbox doing image is that next to Xbox Alexa? What? He does look insane. He creates Valorant Gulag, you know? <laughs> he's just, although I've heard a lot of pro players talk about him and he's like, eh, it'll take a bit to put him into like a comp. That would actually work. I was like, eh. yeah, one v one v noob. Honestly, you really need to have good aim in order to use most of his abilities. His fucking undercut, that's fine. That's whatever. Contingency, that's fine. Whatever. But then, uh, double tap. You need to first kill the enemy and then shoot the orb that pops out of him. And it's like, what? The new digital Series X. Oh, they come out with a new Series X. I'm a god at aiming. Uh, uh, sure, I believe you completely. Why are consoles so expensive? 
not that I want a console, but just why are they so expensive? That he just has a better version of Harbor's best abilities. I mean, yeah, the the wall itself is just better, you know. On a flash instead of his bonus, yeah. But I mean, they can't just completely copy every agent, you know. They can't just so they gotta put a little spin on it. But I mean. Lore wise, he's pretty interesting. Gameplay wise, he could put some real good combos on there. I saw a combo between Kiho, uh, Kyo and uh, Tens, and it was like Yoru decoy follows uh, Iso's wall down somewhere, right? Yoru flashes through the wall, okay, and then they just go blap and they kill them all, you know. I can't say it too. <laughs> Looks like an Alexa. I mean, I guess. Well, every console starting to look the same. Not really, but maybe we're headed that way. Who knows? He's apparently a vulgar fellow with a criminal record. He was prone to violent outbursts. The neighbors often heard screams and shouting coming from the home. PS5 is so ugly. My family has a PS5. I've played on it maybe like twice. <laughs> and then... My dad just plays Mortal Kombat on it all the time. And it's just at their house. I have the PlayStation 4, but I don't use it because I mainly have Xbox games now. So, And I don't have an Xbox here that I'm able to play because my brother keeps it in his room. So, The neighbors took par particular notice of Toshiko's screams pleading with him to not hit Michio. Oh, that's terrible. As if that wasn't unsettling enough, every night the neighbors also begin to hear an eerie chanting. What? Uh, I don't like Sony or Nintendo. I don't know. I I don't... I like Sony because they give me my Spider-Man fix, you know? Nintendo, they give me my Animal Crossing fix. But as companies, sometimes they're just... No, not it. That's not it, you know? Though this, the Shirashis standing in the neighborhood plummeted rapidly. Toshiko was often even covered in bruises and wounds. Wait, did he say something about chanting? Yeah, eerie chanting. What was going on in there? Like, a cult? Shigo was, uh... She stopped responding to her neighbors. She would just turn the other way when greeted. They kept their storm shutters closed even during the day and effectively shut themselves away from the entire community. Make really good games play on their consoles. Yeah. It's difficult because like if they make good products, you're like, oh, I really like this product. But like you also can't, you know, if they're just a shitty company, you got to be like, well, they're a shit company. And I like this product, but like you're a shit company. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cor corporate get out go away uh that sounds terrible why didn't the police step in and do something unfortunately under our current laws the police aren't allowed to get involved with dis domestic disputes that's awful and then michio reportedly killed herself things only got worse with ayawa am i saying that right i uh, why i I know I'm not saying it right at all. And Toshiko was admittedly admitted to the hospital for physical and mental abuse. Ever since, Iowa was, hasn't returned to the home. Many locals expressed sympathy for Michio's circumstances, but just as many were fed up with the Shirashis entirely and seemed relieved that things finally quieted down again. This is the kid party for making his own cardboard Mario. Okay. Now, I know I know Nintendo has been stepping up their whole like um cease and desists on a bunch of like I, I remember a while ago it was the uh Smash tournaments, you know? Like Nintendo had been sort of been like, hey, you can't do tournaments because that's our, you know, thing. You should join our tournament instead or something like that. And it was like, oh, you know jump do you want me to fund your war crimes here you go children eat up i'm ready to see your war crimes <laughs> uh, it seems that they were still considered outsiders even after three years of living here i don't understand it 
Why would Toshiko have gotten involved with such a brutish good for, no for nothing in the first place? I've heard many stories where one par partner's personality does a complete turn after entering a relationship. After her first husband's death, Toshiko's financial situation had also taken a turn for the worst. My mom's just must be kid to a war crime. When we love war crimes here, obviously, is OP for getting stars. I mean, he can fly, so it makes sense. <laughs> oh no, did I skip something? She was determined to send her daughter to a go to high school. It's possible she fell victim to sweet promises. Life can be tough, I suppose. My laptop as a second screen. See, I have two monitors, so... I mean, I do. I, I'm getting a new desk at some point, and I'm cleaning out my room so I can put my PC in there, so... You know, in my little living room, so then... Then I can have an actual good setup, you know? You don't seem moved by the star story, ma'am. That's fine. People have all kinds of stories. Oop. We got a book. Ew, you look ugly. You look like an egg. Slap his head. Slap it. Uh, Kankinchiro, Iowa. Could he have a curse echo? No! Okay, thank you for the lurk, Theo. Uh, the common law husband of Michio Shirachi's mother, Toshiko Shirachi, uh, Kankinchiro started coming and going from the Shirachi's household a little over a year ago. It seems he has served some time in prison, but the details are unknown. Don't you would duel for your mod privileges? <laughs> would that work? I don't, I don't think that's how it works, but sure. But the Shirachi certainly hasn't lucked out with theirs, bringing such a violent man into it. Okay, we're done talking. Let's think. The Sarashis were dealt a tough hand. I can't imagine what it was like. Could it be the girl was forced by her circumstances to take part in the Kirk uh, kidnapping? Thanks for the lurk haze. <laughs> okay, so we're there now. Let's go here. It's how it works if you make me mod. I mean, maybe, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> Geo Park. We're here. This is my Geo Park. Uh, Ayame Tono lives around here. She wasn't in her apartment when I dropped by this morning. I wonder if it's worth checking again. This place is connected with the story of the Taiko of Tutsugaru. Tsugaru. Not only that, Katsuka... Okay. Katsushi... Katsuchika Hotsu... Hokusai's home was also in this area. That might be why Ayame chose to live here. Cherry Park, a small park, unbothered, sporting a mixture of cherry blossoms and evergreen trees. Although unremarkable in most, most respects, its small playground around always attracts a number of children come evening. While no trace remains of the modern day, it stands... No, I am skipping words. Uh, while no trace remains in the modern day, it stands on what was once the site of the Tsugaru estate. The legendary artist Tatsu... Uh, Katsushika Hokusai is also believed to have been born in the vicinity. Cool. <gasps> A bird! We found one! Oh, good going ma'am you found haichu that's a rare one is it now we found a shiny let's go we found a shiny <laughs> like how the background is like that um like that missing background when it's like a transparent background i like that it's always heartwarming to see children playing in the park Richer seems to like kids, perhaps because they're on the same wavelength. <laughs> uh, let's think. It seems picking up Ayame's trail is out of the question for now. Why did we even come here? I don't know. Why did we come here? We wouldn't be much done sitting around here. Why don't we go and check out Ayame's apartment? You don't mean to speak with her, do you? No, I prefer to get an idea of what she's been up to. 
I'd like to see whether she's been home or not, just to potentially get a trace of her on her movements. Then be my guest. Okay, I shouldn't be long. He's like a cowboy with that hat. Ms. Ma'am. Ms. Ma'am, I have a curse for you. I'm back, ma'am. So, nothing? I'm afraid so. She still hasn't returned. However, however... I've noticed a few people who seem to be related to the police force keeping watch in the area. I don't know if they got eyes on her apartment, but they do appear to be watching the building it's in. Interesting. You've got a sharp eye to have noticed something despite them being so covert. What can I say? It's part of the job. However, it meant I had to refrain from knocking on her door or looking through her windows. I wasn't able to check her electric meter or mailbox either, unfortunately. You were planning to go that far? I guess. We don't want progress sticking around here. Anything else? No. Okay. Guess we go here now. Margesso Street. What's that? Uh, 10 hours of playtime. We got 10 hours of playtime. Let's go. The Hihaku Soaps headquarters are on the other side of South Christmas Street. What was that? What was that? Was that his hand? That better have been his hand. I thought that was a dead body in the street. What the hell? Hold on. Uh, they were closed when I visited this morning. It appears things are up and running now. To think a small soap making company would grow so much in such a short time. They have factories and warehouses throughout the area now. You can see why the director is now and now chairwoman Natsu Yamimori is called the queen. Ah, she is the queen. A chemical producer that ranks fourth largest in the domestic detergent market and seventh largest in the cosmetic market. From its humble beginnings as a small soap factory established after the war in 1964, what? 1946, God. Founder Natsu Yamamori utilized her feminine perspective and a well-timed economic boom to boldly lead the company into new markets. Even as the market grew, crowded with the industrialization of, hold on. He's mod 2023. I gave it back to him. He said he doesn't want it. If he doesn't want it, I'm not gonna force it upon him. Hold on. Where'd my phone go? My phone is gone. <gasps> I had a text message from a group chat. Okay. Oh, Shadow 2023? This is a threat. What? What? Am I being threatened right now? Is is this a... Whoa. Uh, house... Uh, industrialization of Sumida City. The company continued to expand, digging its roots deeper into the area. In particular, it established itself as a household name by focusing its branding towards the rapidly expanding convenience store market. Its flagship products now include cosmetics, cosmetics, detergent, soap, shampoo, and more. The company name uh, Hihaku can also refer to Kasuri, a type of pattern fabric. And <laughs> let's go. And let's go. Oh, another. What is this? Collect all information on person of interest. Well, it looks like we got all the information on person of interest then, I guess. Natsu is the former president of Hihaku Soaps, a large chemical company, though she retired from her position two years ago. She still wields great influence over the company from her position of chairwoman. Recently, there have been rumors about her processing strange and powerful, possessing strange and powerful magic abilities, earning her the nickname the Witch of Hika. I keep wanting to say Hikaru, but that's not it. Uh, Hihaku. Prior to the war, Natsue enjoyed working her dream job at a textile factory. 
She was forced to face the bitter reality of the world, however, when the factory was destroyed by a fire during the war, and she was ordered to rework the fabric she had painstakingly crafted into something more suitable for blue-collar work. Witnessing the rise in popu popularity of Western-style closings... I really can't talk right now. I can't tell if it's just because I'm, like, tired or something or what, but... Western-style clothing in the post-war period, Natsue left the textile industry. However, a nod to her past can be seen in her company's name, with Hihaku being another name for Katsuri, a type of fabric featuring patterns and images woven with dyed fabrics or fibers. Having long been dissatisfied with the soap supply at the textile factory, Natsue saw a business opportunity and set up her own small soap factory, taking inspiration from imported soap brands she developed. New products which quickly gained a good reputation, ever the shrewd businesswoman. Nasue ran an aggressive promotional campaign on TV featuring a popular Japanese singer rapidly turning Hihaku soaps into a household name. What singer are we talking here? Because I personally would love to know. Would I kill for Hayes? It depends what person you know but i would do anything for him maybe who knows i don't know <laughs> takumi works as her secretary that's correct do you think it's possible he's acting on her orders that's exactly my thinking a curse bearer with both money and power could certainly look at resurrection as their next prize uh. Negotiating with a person of that stature may prove difficult. Business is up and running. I can see people inside the reception area. Okay. He tells me he barely slept last night and yet he seems to be brimming with energy. You can't get that smirk off his face. Oh my god. Was I too... Was I, too, that resilient at his age? Perhaps it's what set apart a detective from the rest. Perhaps. I already did that. Uh, Takihiro Moriyuchi? Who's that? First, I need to confirm whether Takumi is the man I ran into last night. Then I'll be able to determine if he's a curse bearer. It'll be better if I go inside the headquarters alone. You should walk around. Visit a cafe for some tea, perhaps. Cool. Oh, sorry, sorry. A duck bear. Right, right, sorry, sorry. It'll be better if I go inside the headquarters alone. Uh, you should walk around. Visit a cafe for some tea, perhaps. Oh, you already said that. Think. Oh, he's a Japanese singer. Ah. So an influential person at he Haku Soaps is potentially a Duck bear. Uh, Richard proposes we use money to negotiate for the duck stones, but we could hardly outbid a large corporation if it came down to it. I'm going to go in. I may be a while, so feel free to, s to find somewhere to kill time. Okay, good luck in there. Kill time? Why don't I just use the stone and like get some soul dread? You know what I mean? Sorry to keep you waiting. How did it go? I'll fast forward to the conclusion I met with Takumi. There's no doubt he's the same man I saw last night, but it doesn't seem like he's a duck bear. Hmm? But it, that doesn't mean he has no connections to the recent ducks. He knew about the seven mysteries. <gasps> he even guessed that we had a duck stone of our own. Excuse me? We're going back in time like five minutes ago. I tried to approach Takumi about the fa a fallen item after I ran into him last night, however. You said your name was Richter, correct? I have a favor I'd like to ask of you. I'm hoping you would hand over the duck stone in your possession. A duck stone? What do you want about? What are you talking about, Willis? There's no need to play dumb with me. In fact, there's no time for it. I had all the same reason you did too, to think you were a duck bear last night. 
and your arrival here only confirms it. You are a duck bearer, no? You're right. We lack time. I'll confess, I am a duck bearer. I possess the duck stone of the haunting clappers. I'm glad to hear the truth. Finally, this conversation is worthwhile. It is a dangerous item you're holding. You hold. Give it to me. My company will take the responsibility to dispose of it. I didn't know the soap business specialized in scrubbing ducks clean. I mean, they might, you know. You know those commercials with the dove, you know, and the, the, the animals with the, the oil on them, you know? I think a soap company probably, you know. It is the prerogative of Miss Yamamori. Is that so? Assuming you've obtained the duck, you understand the power it involves, no? Miss Yamamori possesses supernatural powers akin to those of a god. She also has a deep love for this land, having transformed it from the pile of dirt it once was to the home of our headquarters. She cannot stomach the fact that this now, that it's now the sight of these ducks run rampant. <laughs> Imagine a bunch of ducks just running around. And she's like, I can't take this anymore! So you're telling me the queen of Hihaku is a real-life witch? She wouldn't appreciate being called that, mind you. There's a sorcerer by the name of Suigen Gamioto, who's gallantly working behind the scenes, exercising spirits and the like. <laughs> Makes the game a lot better, you think? Go on. That being set, uh, that being so, there have already been instances of the dead coming back to life. Do you understand the urgency of this matter? These are cur these are ducks. Sorry, sorry, I almost slipped up there. Man, that that word looked a little different from ducks. Uh, we're speaking of tools which are used by wicked beings to possess people. The rite of resurrection is nothing but a fabrication meant to seduce the duck bearers into unspeakable action. An all-natural star appears. Oh my god. <gasps> if you truly understand what I'm talking about, you must hand over the curse stone at once. You got it. Let's go. Shadow's better. Very interesting. With that said, just how many, uh, just how many duck stones have you acquired so far? If what you tell me is true, surely the company would have launched a large-scale search by now. Oh. We have six. Six? Whoa, I can rest at ease then. And here I thought I was at risk of being ducked. It seems we are on the same page. If that is the case, you should hand over your duck stone immediately. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but it's not actually in my possession at the moment. Considering its importance, I've been keeping it in hiding. Really now? You're always at risk of being ducked. Your chances of being ducked are pretty low, but never zero. <laughs> then I'll come for you while you retrieve it. I'm sorry, but I've got something important to attend to, but I promise I'll return it later. Very well. Then you won't refuse to provide your address and telephone number, I presume. How prudent of you. I'll oblige. He's like, so I gave them your house address. <laughs> and that's how it went. Hmm. So they aren't after the right after all. I wouldn't boast so quick to trust him. Oh. I believe we're dealing with a master in deception. He may well have made up a story to convince us to part ways with our stone. I think he was lying about having procured six curse stones as well. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, procured six duck stones as well. Like, really? Six? That's excessive. Well, now I feel gullible. The company is plotting something. I wonder what that, what they mean to do with the duck stones. He seems rather desperate to get a hold of ours, despite us not having collected any soul dregs. Perhaps the people of in Hihaku are the masterminds behind the ducks being unleashed. They have <laughs> unleashed the ducks upon Honjo. Quack. Quack. Because the chairwoman's a witch? I wonder about that too. If she really were the powerful, that powerful, would her 
<laughs> Gwonk. Gwonk. Secretary of divulged that information so casually. Taki Takumi was either made up, making it up as he went, or, or, or he's trying to spread a rumor. For what purpose would he do that? Recently, people have been caught up about the occult more than ever before. If word spread that uh, Hihaku's chairwoman has godlike powers, she would very well benefit socially and politically from that mystique. Duck's unleashed. Duck become a were duck. Oh no, not the were duck. That's unsettling. Just a bit. We should avoid Hihaku for the time being. It'll be a pain if I have to deal with Takumi again. Okay. By the way, there's one more thing of interest I heard while the company's reception lobby. Duck Detroit become duck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that one's funny. What's that? People were discussing whether one of the bodies found this morning was one of a Hihaku employee. Which it was. It was Shogo. Really. So long as the officials haven't revealed the identity, it all amounts to no more than speculation, though. Now it's Sonic vs. Duck. <laughs> Who wins, though? That's the question. Despite that, I have reason to believe Hihaku Soaps is deeply involved with the Seven Mysteries. At the very least, I can assure you I've gathered that much. The more we know, the better our negotiation will go. Cool. Oh, no. Uh, think. How interesting that the Queen of Hihaku, or the Witch, whatever she is, is trying to get her hands on the Rite of Resurrection. Hold on one second. You were right. This is like Italian mafia music. <laughs> now that I'm listening to it. I'm trying to get her hands on the Rite of Resurrection. It's like some kind of dark fairy tale. Duckio versus Duckig at the Olympics. <laughs> Duck Eternal. <laughs> Regardless of what is or isn't true, we must stay one step ahead. Anything else? No? Alright. Where do we go, though? That's the question. Go back to the park? Maricho Park. We're here. This is Maricho Park. Okay. Play connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw this already. Duckified. What a waste of time, we should move on quickly. Okay, alright, fine. Let's go back to the girl's house then. Near the Shirashi's household. I doubt anyone's still living there. Oh, what? Hmm? Oh, so you came here too. What is it? It's, it's our favorite buddy cops. Ah, could you repeat what you know one more time to me, Richard? It's the two buddy cops. Let's go. Okay. Fancy sushi. With dusk fast approaching, they have no time to waste with what in mind. With that in mind, Tsutsumi and Aero direct their investigation towards Komagata High School and the Sarashi residence. Oh yeah, the music is back, baby. Listen to that music. Oh damn, it's so good. Komagata High School. Here we are, Komagata High School. The classes are sp suspended for the day, so the students are just kind of wandering around aimlessly. The school gates will stay locked while forensics inspects the scene of the incident. Looks like they're still busy. Let's talk with the person in charge later. Duck New Order. Duck Forces. The news of the dead teacher has also attracted a fair share of rubberneckers. 
The atmosphere is kind of tense with this many caps around. Komagata High Gymnasium also serves as a polling place and evacuation center. A lot of the buildings around here are still made of wood, but this place looks safe and sturdy. Yeah, it's pretty sturdy. Uh, Yoshimi also looked out for the students as a uh, so, all right, Sumida city officer. Juvenile delinquency has been a growing problem for years now. This school is no exception. Okay, juvenile delinquency. Oh, we're getting a thing on juvenile delinquency. The midpoint of the Showa era saw a mark increase in delinquency among young people. A wave of violence in incidents targeting teachers as well as students and often involving weapons consumed the nation's middle and high schools. Bozo Bosozoku motorcycle gangs also enjoyed their heyday around this time. Japanese arrest rates reached a historical peak during this period and pompadoured Yankees and fema female su Sukiban delinquents became a common uh, say on the streets. This use of rebellion is often framed as a reaction to universal education policies or the presence of highly competitive entry exams, but its causes are likely manifold, extending far beyond the decencies of education systems. A fucking phone broke last night. How'd you break it? Hi, Chris, by the way. Hi, Chris. Uh, Duckymon, Scarlet, and Violet. <laughs> No one can hear you on call. No, it's probably a good thing though. I mean, honestly, duck craft over duck too. Jeez. Duck night, not duck night. No. Ideally, we could talk to someone who was involved in the incident. Easier said than done though. Is there nobody else that we can talk to? Let's look at June. Hmm, is there something on my shirt? Don't tell me I stink. Damn. Velo duck. <laughs> yeah, that's dark name. This place isn't only connected to the case because the students were under Yoshimi's jurisdiction. Ducksgate theory. Ah, oh, I like that one. Paranormal duck, the seven ducks of duck show. <laughs> it's also the site of the fool's possession and of course where that teacher was killed. Seems like a likely place to find some clues, don't you think? Yeah, I guess. Oh right, speaking of schools. What is it? You said paranormal affairs can't help us right now. Legend of Duck. <laughs> so why don't we get that psychic high schooler you mentioned to help us? Seven days to duck. <laughs> A lot of the people involved in this case lead back to the school anyway, so it might make things easier to have them with us. For a guy who questioned me on the legitimacy of working with them, the, the legality of working with them. You sure seem eager to exploit underage labor. <laughs> hey, who said anything about exploiting them? I just want to give our young experts the opportunity to shine. When'd you become such a smooth talker? He's always smooth. He got that riz, you know what I'm talking about? What, can your pet? Yes, my pet can. And I'm gonna put him in a can too. Anyways, I'm afraid I don't know where they are. Oh, I see. I wonder if there's anyone who could help us scout out the area. I wonder if there's anyone to help us scout out there. I guess we look. Think. 9 a.m. Perfectly reasonable time for students to be at school, and yet. Super Duck Bros, Ducky O'Cart, Super Smash Ducks. I doubt this will be that simple. Is that it? Is there anyone who could help us scout out the area? Okay. Well, I'm not seeing anything else to say, so we're moving. We're going to the neighborhood. Ducky Kong, too. Na na na. The white blue shift. Seems like Michio's house is the end of this road. We don't want to intimidate them, so maybe I should go alone. Look at that. Look at that ass. Look at him. 
Ariel <laughs> was checking the Sarashi house at the end of the road. The street's real narrow, so two big guys like us would stick out like a pair of sore thumbs. Third Night's at Ducks movie. <laughs> Who's going to see that movie? I would totally go see it. I don't think I have anyone to go with me, though. Sad. Because no, none of my friends actually want to go see that. They want to go see the Taylor Swift movie instead. So the Sarashi household. There's a chance that Michio didn't actually kill herself. It might be for the best that we didn't find her parents. My nose is so itchy. Was it the duck of 87? Peckford duck. All right, I'll go check the house. Okay, have fun. Bye. Don't get lost. I was off checking the strategy. I'll just wait till he gets back. Is there any... Uh... Oh, there is. I was gonna say, is there any mockingbirds? Collect five mockingbirds. Let's go. Which one did I get? Number six? Illegal eagle. <laughs> Cool. I got illegal eagle guys. Hell yeah. Dexter is a zombie. So the Sarashi household. There's a chance that Michio didn't actually kill her. So oh, we already sent this. Oh, he's back. Oh, you're back. No luck, boss. No one home. Doesn't look like it. I knocked for a while. My phone is going. Oh, it's Josie. Here we go. I was like, I hear a buzzing. What is that buzzing? Doesn't look like I knocked for a while, but nobody came to the door. I glanced in the window, but there was no sign of activity inside either. And I saw three newspapers stuffed into their mailbox. Hmm. Suspend? The houses are really crammed together in these narrow alleyways. Strangers like us walking around definitely stand out. Feels... It really feels like old Tokyo. It's quiet. This place is normally pretty lively, full of people coming and going, but it seems like everyone's decided to stay inside because of the recent incidents. I oh know, we already uh... Looks like no one's home right now. Let's try again later. Okay. Look at that ass. Arrow looks kind of disappointed. I think we've done everything we can. Suspend. Candy duck. You cannot currently progress any further. Once your situation has changed, select resume to try again. Pressing suspend will return you to the story chart. Okay. Interesting. Alright, so we gotta go Hitomi's help. Uh, summary of previous events. Bringing your friend back from the dead means she'll have to pay the price. Yako makes it home safely, but still isn't sure about how to proceed with her duck. She worries about Mio as the night passes. Wait. Hold on. I'll just resume. Start from the conversation. Start from location selection. Weird. I go to the candy shop. Go to the candy shop. Friday the duck teeth. We're on just ducks. Sonoya. And so Mio Kurosuzi Zuz Ah, I can't speak tonight. Nyaku decided on their next location to investigate. What? Sorry from the conversation. Do we have to go through this conversation again? Because we already had this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Actually, hold on. Can we go? Can we try to restart from the beginning? Hold on. Uh, I thought maybe we could click there. So now do we have to start, I don't know, coordinating? Creating these duck games. The amount of money would make, I know, right? Uh, 
Okay, so they're at Komagata. Start at Komagata. Duck Royale. Call of Duty. <laughs> Call of Duck. Modern Duck Fair. <laughs> Hi, baby. What's up? Hi. What are you doing? Wanna sit with me? Hi. I had a baby just come to me. Little baby. Oh. He must be lonely because nobody's here. Hold on. He's curling up in my lap right now. Hold on. I demand mod. You demand it. Well, that's not one way to get it. Oh no, I rolled over my wire. Hold on. I got a, I got a kitty in my lap now, and I just rolled over the wire of my headphones. He wants attention, that's all he wants. Hi! You're so cute! Yeah, you're my widow baby! <laughs> it's not rigged, Shadow, honestly. Yeah, come lay down. He's not laying down. Oh, there you go. Like a baby. He just wants some attention. Nobody else is in the house. So I'm getting on. Here we are. Come on, got a high. Classes are suspended for the day. You okay? Oh, there they are. Oh, so this is where we do start coordinating the characters. Okay. Huh? That's boss. What is it? You want to talk to those girls? I do! Or not, this is rigged. Yeah, I do. It's the divine intervention. We were brought here for a reason. Come on, Arrow. It wasn't a divine intervention. It's just me. I know I can be divining, but is divining a word? Now play it again. Sound is the meme for real. Moon is short. I'm not! Sub. Shut up! I need to turn that back on if you're going to keep doing that. Hi. Stop licking my hand. He's licking my hand while I'm trying to move the mouse around. Hello. I don't think you guys can hear his purring. Shut up, Moon. He's, he's just trying to scratch up on my mic. <laughs> don't tell me to shut up. Hey. Dual fair and square. Where's my mod? Oh my god. Shadow, stop being demanding. I ate it. <laughs> Was it yummy, Chris? Huh? What? Oh, he loves his scratches. He's getting so many scratches right now and he's enjoying it. Hey, aren't you? You must be that high schooler skirting the child labor <laughs> laws who I've heard so much about. Extremely nice. Um, say that again? Sorry about that, he's with me. Mr. Tsutsumi, if that's how you feel, maybe you should look into improving my working conditions. Don't tell the cat to shut up. I know, right? You know what, just for that, Chris? Just for that? Hold on. Excuse me, I need my hand for a second. I'm sorry I gotta start scratching you. Well, you can't put your head there. Here, I'll put my hand here. He's trying to lay his head on my 
on my desk, but it's too high for him. Here, boy, put your head here. <laughs> oh, now you're licking my hands with your sandpaper tongue. You know what I need to do? I have two cameras now. I should set up a cat cam and then just a regular cam. Hey. Hey. It's my arm. I must be tasty then. I'd prefer not to work for free, to be honest. Don't you worry about that. If you help us out, uh, you can have whatever you want. Boss's treat. Wait, really? Thank you so much. I've always wanted to go to a fancy sushi place. Oh yeah, look at those places in Ginzai. I've never been before. Let's go. Now he's just licking my other arm. He moved so he could lick my other arm. <laughs> Stop it. Your hand is so sandpapery. Gonna lay that way? Okay. It's fine. We got ourselves a deal, right boss? These girls are at our service. Hold on now. What just happened? I never said I'd... Sushi? Uh-oh, now Theo is... Everyone's gambling. Oh god. Looking forward to it, boss. Wait, since when were you included? Haha, <laughs> you guys are funny. You should do stand-up. Forensics is still investigating the area. I don't really want to bring these kids into a place like this, but... What? What do you want? I'm just paying attention more to my cat right now. Fuck, too good. Yep. There are too many onlookers outside for us to speak comfortably. Besides, it would be good to have Mio look around the scene too. Boss, boss, boss. Sushi, huh? Well, if, if this will solve the case, small price to pay. Uh, it's just expensive. It's just, just expense it to paranormal affairs later. <laughs> you are VIP now. Oh, I already did that. Oops, I meant to click June. Uh, it's usually, it's usually easier to let Arrow do the talking when it comes to young people. But if we only have a day, it'll be quicker if I take the reins this time. But he did manage to win them over in the promise of food. Let's see how this plays out. What, Chris? This is one hell of a coincidence, huh? Coincidence? I think not! This random girl you know is already involved with this case. Oh, I can do. Ooh. That I can. Whoop! Whoop! Seeing the crime. What's that rope all about? It indicates where Chunshisho's body was found. You know, you can get comfier a different way. Come here. There we go. <gasps> Chris, thank you for the sub. Two amazing months. Oh my god. My arm is going to be so raw because he's been licking my hand. Two people looking for attention. Cat and Chris. Yep. <laughs> uh, to indicate where Chicho's body was found can't beat that, I'm too broke that's fine Shadow, you're good <laughs> they've moved his body but this way we still have an idea of how it was found yikes, that's a little gross yeah, a little grody you can even see how his arms and legs are ugh cooler arrow, you're scaring her this kind of stuff is a little much for a kid Hey, I'm pretty sure she only asked because you were staring at it so intently. Alright, that's enough. Mio, what do you think? I knew it the second I looked at the scene. You're right. Traces of duck still lingers here. What are you doing? He's climbing- hold on. He's climbing up for a cuddle. Come here. Hi. I'm gonna put you on my bed now, okay? Do you want me on my bed?
I put him on my bed because he was getting uncomfy in my lap. And I put him with his favorite blanket on my bed and he is all cuddly and cozy. Uh, sad no longer sub to TSU or Ophelia. Did I just get shot? What? I don't know. Maybe you did. Maybe you, maybe you didn't. Uh, I figured as much. You're no longer sub to Jill? No! I was still sub to her. I'm gonna keep my sub even until she gets back. Okay? I'm keeping it until she gets back and she should be like, wow! Why would you do that? And I'm be like, because. <laughs> Does that mean when she was killed by one of the Chris and Seven Mysteries? Yes, a strong duck like that always leaves behind a trace. Oh wow, Mia, you're so calm. Are you used to this kind of thing? Um, I wouldn't say I'm used to it. Maybe you'll finish dying like when she goes, but yeah, true. Maybe we will. I have emotes. Now I'm unstoppable. No. Shadow, no, please. It just comes with experience, I guess. No? I've heard some stories about you. Didn't you investigate a gruesome scene where somebody had been killed by a paranormal attack without even breaking a sweat? Stop her, Mr. Shisumi. She's going to get the wrong idea. She's like, stop. You're embarrassing me. No. Not the dance. Not the dancing. Please. Anything but the dancing, Shadow. Whoa, that's amazing. Mio, you're a professional. You think? Totally. You're cool, even in the face of death. That's awesome. Oh no, not the shaking too. No! Don't shake the poor guy. What are you doing? Oh, when you put it like that, I'm not sure how awesome it is. So, so a duck was used here, which means the duck bearer must have been on the scene too. Uh, okay. Let's talk to the girls. So how much have you been able to figure out? Well, I know what happened around midnight last night. Someone invoked the Feast of Shadows, which boosts the power of ducks, then brought forth the Seven Mysteries of Honjo. That allowed even those who do not have the power to cast ducks to gather soul dregs for the Rite of Resurrection. At least that's my hypothesis. Sounds about right so far. As I'm sure you know, these are actually... There are actually nine mysteries, not seven. When the Feast of Shadows was cast, the duck stones appeared before those who wanted the right at the locales of the seven mysteries. Hold on. I gotta blow my nose. It's true, my feast gives power to ducks. <laughs> We've managed to gather three curse stones so far, including the one I got first, the Evergreen Beach. You got three already? Wow. You have the curse stones of the fool's procession. Oh, wait, sorry. We have the duck stone of the fool's procession. Well, Yako, the girl standing behind me, does. That's me, Yako, the girl standing behind me. Oh. She does? Is she all right? We couldn't take it off your hands. Well, the Feast of Shadows has no effect during the day, and there's still something I want to find out. Alright, I'll leave the Fool's Procession with you two then. Cool. Let's talk with Yako, huh? You want to talk to me? Uh, you'd probably be better off talking to Mio, but I want to talk to you. Thank you. Please keep collecting the other duck stones. I'll be looking for a way to stop the Feast of Shadows. Okay, got it. That should make things go more smoothly. What about the other duck bears? Have you run into any of them? Well, last night at school. You were here last night? Er, yes, you see. Don't stop the Feast of Shadows, I'm hungry. But wait, you're a shadow shadow, so does that mean that we're committing cannibalism and eating you? What? Uh, process of getting into the Unreal Engine GitHub. Oh, did that take a while? I imagine it did if it was annoying. Huh? You two were using a spirit board. That's so cool. Yes, shadows are tasty. Describe the taste of shadows. You know, if they're so tasty. 
So that's when you ran into the curse echo. I mean, the duck echo. I'm glad you survived the encounter. Somehow, we've managed to get away without accidentally setting it off. <gasps> the curse echo, I mean, the duck echo we saw took the shape of a woman missing an arm and a leg. So that was the reed. What? A woman missing an arm and a leg, that's the one sided reed. The one sided reed. That is bad. Huh? What's so bad about that one? Well, that's Nijima. You idiot. Think the duck bearer of the one sided reed is, uh. Nijima. Fumichika Nijima. He admitted it himself. That's his duck. Oh, that's right. Wait, but if that's the d the case, Nejima might have been here last night. What? I mean, it's possible he was lying to us, but what? Um, who's Nejima? No clue. Oh no, we already talked. Uh, my spike and fill the bullets. So Nijima is trying to take advantage of the Feast of Shadows for his own nefarious purposes. <gasps> huh? He said he's going to massacre the city at sundown today? That was probably a little much to say to, a, to high schoolers, but... <laughs> the girls are like, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're, they're freaking out. <laughs> and the girls are like, meh. Is he trying to get your daughter too? That's why we've been trying to find him, but to no avail. Honestly, this information has been the most useful we've gotten so far. So, just to be sure, could you tell me who else was at the school last night? Well, as far as we know... There was us, Mr. Jochi, and one of our classmates, Hitomi. Don't forget old man Aishi Ashimiya. Wait, Hitomi? Do you mean Hitomi... Okudai, second year student? Huh? Well, yes. Why? Boss. So she was here last night. I saw Hitomi earlier, though she didn't seem like a duck bear to me. You did? Did you talk to her? Um, yes. Would you mind if we asked you a few questions about that? Hitomi said she didn't want to talk to the police because she was afraid she would become a suspect. So I can't tell you anything unless you swear you won't drag her into this. Ah, I see. Don't worry, this is about a different matter. A different matter? You mean about that police officer, Mr. Uh, Yoshimi? You know about that? Did Hitomi say something about him? Yes, she did, actually. Back with the music. Yes, she did, but I will not elaborate. Hitomi said, did say that Mr. Yoshimi trusted her with something. Did he? What was it? Yoshimi gave her a talisman? Yes, apparently he also asked her to look for another one just like it. One that Michio had. What kind of talisman would they be, boss? Doesn't ring a bell. But if Yoshimi was talking about him um, with his dying breath, they must have been pretty important. Uh, did they find a talisman on Michio where her body was found? I'll check, but if they did, Yoshimi would have plenty of time to travel- to retrieve it before he died. Miu is straight up the most mature one here, even compared to the grown men I know. <laughs> uh, would you consider giving us Hitomi's contact information? I'd like to talk to her about talisman. I'm not sure. She never opened up to anyone except Mr. Yoshimi. I'm no good, huh? I was friends with Shom Yoshimi, though. You don't seem like too bad of a guy. Not all that scary for a cop. <laughs> Is that a compliment or not? I don't know. But I doubt that'll be enough for her. She really doesn't want to end up becoming a suspect. To be honest, she was even a bit wary of us. Hmm. Well then. Do you think that she'd talk to Yoshimi's fiancé? Haven't they met before? Oh, they have. She told us about that. Yes, yeah, she might be willing to talk to her. 
All right, then we better find her fast. Uh, you haven't been able to reach her? That's a little worrying. Yeah, that's slightly worrying. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Okay, what should we talk about now? Let's keep going about my Nijima. If we're talking about people who were at school last night, there was one more person, though I'm not too clear on the details. Uh, there was someone else? Apparently, Hitomi actually saw Mr. Jonchi getting cursed and killed last night. What? Talk about some vital information. What she said happened was... Michio was the one who killed Mr. Jonshi? Getting ducked. Oh, right, right. Sorry, sorry. I keep forgetting. J Duh. I can't read right, you know? So every time duck comes on screen, I just- I can't read it correctly. Are you sure it was really Michio that she saw? Well, that's what she told me. I wasn't there. I don't know why, but all this reading out loud is making me yawn more. That must mean there was another duck bear there last night. Duckslexia can be tough, I know. I am a, I suffer from it so heavily. Jonshi was killed by a duck, so someone had to have been there, whether it was Michio or not. Damn, boss, do you think it really could have been Michio's ghost? I mean, based on what we've heard, she does have plenty of reason to be vengeful. Calm down. Just because the... Oh my god. Duck blocks. <laughs> my phone keeps buzzing. Okay. Just because the paranormal exists doesn't mean just anything is possible. It's still possible that Nejima was behind Jonji's death. Dekimon shed her tongue. <laughs> but what about Hitomi's story? About this janitor, Ashimiya, was it? How old is he? Do you know how long he's worked here? Huh? Why are you so interested in him all of a sudden? Duck Ballsy. He only transferred to this school, though, so I have no idea. He's around 50 years old. He came to our school about half a year ago. No one knows what he did before, so there are all kinds of rumors about him. I see. Thanks. I think I'm starting to get a better picture of all this. Huh? Listen. It's not uncommon for former prisoners to find work under an alias after their release. The notoriety attached to their former name can get in the way of proper rehabilitation, you see. Duck piece. <gasps> Or it could be one duck, you know? Everyone's looking for the one duck. What are you? No way. Arrow, have the officers apprehend the janitor. He works the night shift, so he might be in the overnight room. Yes, right away. Run, Arrow, run! Boss, bad news. Apparently the room's been empty all morning. Sounds like they'd been looking to question it as she... Ashimiya too, but couldn't find him anywhere. No. That's all but confirms it. Just one more thing. Does that confirm it? I mean, he could have just, like, gone home. You know? Wait, is Shima Nijima now? I mean, maybe. It's being implied that he might be, so I'm assuming so. Just one more thing to check. Are there any photos of this Ashimiya? Hmm, the old man seriously hated getting his picture taken. He'd always avoid it. Arrow, call an urgent search for Makoto Ashimiya. We can't let him get away. Yes, sir. I'll contact HQ right away. I mean, I guess that makes sense, so... Oh my, I didn't expect this at all. Yeah, how could that old man have been some horrible criminal mastermind? I can't believe it. And a curse bearer on top of that. I mean, a duck bearer on top of that. Sorry. To think he was so close to us this whole time. Ugh. Gives me the chills. A guy like that really shouldn't have been allowed to work at a high school. Let's hope it isn't too late. Oh. 
I, uh, I may have shown Ashimiya my car my duck stone last night. What? I didn't like this one bit. Nijima did say he wasn't specifically targeting duck bears, but I'm glad nothing happened. Nothing bad happened to you. Wait, but then couldn't it have been old man Ashimiya who attacked you in the hallway? Ah, I almost told him that you were still in the building too. We did do that. She died. <laughs> what? You did? Yikes. Good thing I didn't say anything. You might have gotten very lucky there, kid. Uh, let's keep going. About Nijima. This is too much. I hope they find him soon. Come on. Long arm of the law. Help us. To put a stop to the Feast of Shadows, it would help if we knew more about how the ducks of the Seven Mysteries first came about. Hmm, in that case, you're probably best off talking to that crabby researcher guy. You mean Mr. Arashi? I would very much like to talk to him. Alright. Oh, uh, oh, right. He's a teacher here too, isn't he? You would know him already. Duckfall 2. Sea of ducks. <laughs> he may be more inclined to talk if it's one of his students doing the asking. Do you know where he is? I do. We tried to talk to him, but he refused to cooperate. But you two should give it a try. Slay the duck. He's at his usual cafe working on his paper. Or duck the spire. The cafe. Oh, Kur Kurokikyo Cafe in Kamizawa. Duck turf neo splash. <laughs> Thanks. We heard. We'll head over there now. S um, school rules say we're not allowed to go to cafes, though. Don't worry about it. I'll allow it. Thank you. Huh? That's all it takes? <laughs> Apparently. There must be a mastermind behind everything. Someone who orchestrated all this for a reason. Ducks TD6. <laughs> I want to find out why. Don't we all? My... Mayu, 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 Chozawa, let you know as soon as we manage to contact her. Okay, I'll be willing to give Hitomi's contact information to her. Oh, right. One more thing. Hitomi told me that Mr. Yoshimi gave her instructions in the event that something happened to him. He told her to give the talisman to Mr. Nagigoshi from the police headquarters. What? So it was Nagigoshi's case. Hmm. Why would Yoshimi tell her that? Already established the mastermind is Timmy. Yeah, I know. They're just not listening right now. Could you check on that? I will, but, well, I don't know if they'll pick up when I call. Is he with the Paranormal Affairs Bureau? Well, yes. Nagagoshi's the chief, but he's almost never in, so I'd really know the guy. To be honest, I'm not even sure if he exists or if he's just a figurehead. I've never spoke to him myself. All of Paranormal Affairs' cases are referred to as Nagagoshi cases. Jeez, what's up with that? Is he too mad? Uh. That amulet Hitomi was looking for may be the missing puzzle piece to this mystery. Okay. Um, what was that thing you mentioned about Michio earlier? Something about a grudge. Did you know anything about her? Uh, what's your relation? I'm her friend. I was actually planning to resurrect her at first. Ah, I see. I got- my nose just became so stuffy. Legends, Duckins and Dragons. <laughs> we are just dungeons and ducks. <laughs> the ferocious beings, ducks. Uh, we gained quite a lot of information from you two. It's only fair we share as well. Tell her arrow. 
all right? Keep in mind that this is just a theory, though, okay? Just a theory. A game theory. After re-examining the crime scene, Yoshimi concluded that Michio's death wasn't a suicide, but a vehicular collision. Wait, what? An accident? Very ferocious. They've killed tons of people in this game. I know, right? And people are using ducks to kill other people. I mean, honestly. Being hit by a speeding truck or van would have resulted in similar injuries. The investigation was ordered by Yoshimi, but so it seems he has his doubts about it being a suicide. <gasps> what? A van? Speeding? Yako, what's wrong? Are you okay? Ah! Ah! Why is she screaming? What? A van. There's a young man in the driver's seat and the passenger seat. A woman? Yako. What just happened? Uh, hi, yes. Wait, was I? Are you back now? How do you feel? You're covered in sweat. Ugh. Yeah, I'm okay, I think. Ducky Ducky Literature Club. <laughs> Goose Adventures 2 is real. I mean, there is Goose Goose Duck, too, so. Sorry, I went a little crazy there. It's no problem, as long as you're okay. It was quite a surprise, though. That was... You saw something, didn't you? Uh, Yoshimi talked to you about Michio, didn't he? Well, he didn't give me any specifics, if you're wondering about that. So I don't know what was truly on Michio's mind, either. Right. Do you have any idea why Jonshi was so scared of Michio? Well, about that. I'm not sure exactly how to put this, but... Info dump. I see. Well, I have expected it was something like that. Thank you for telling me. Sorry, it's hard to explain. I wonder what he got his hands on to be able to blackmail her like that. Have I played it? No. But I do have it. And maybe I'll play it? You know, since we're in the, like, visual novel... You know, if we finish this game, either tonight or tomorrow, I'll play Doki Doki. Michio, what happened? Michio, what happened? Scene of the crime. Hey boss, forensics is calling. I'll go see what they have to say. Sure, thanks. Boss, they found this on the ground a short distance away from the scene. What is that? A ribbon. <gasps> It'd be a really fun stream. I imagine so. I know a bit about uh, Doki Doki because I watched another friend start playing on stream. He never finished it though. So, you know. Yeah, the kind you use to tie up your hair. And I know uh, Matt Pat did a bunch of theories on it, but I never watched them because it was a game that I was never really interested in, you know? It's a weird looking duck feather. I know, right? It's a little weird. What? I've seen that ribbon before. You have? Go on, then. She starts describing a duck. <laughs> That's the ribbon that Michio always used to wear. What? <laughs> the way he, like, holds up his hands, like, ah! Doesn't that, uh, doesn't that mean that Michio was here? Are you sure? Definitely. I have the same one at home. We bought them together. That has to be hers. Then did she come back to life somehow? She Someone used the right of resurrection on her. But how? Not. <gasps> Merlin, thanks for the knot. Oh. Mio Kurzu uh Suzu. She's like a she's like a discipline of the paranormal disciple. Uh <laughs> just got Whenever there's a break there, I know, right? Uh, the disciple of the paranormal chief. She. I've heard that she helps out with investigations free of charge under the guise of training. Although she's my old boss's protege, she helped me out plenty while I was in paranormal affairs. She may look meek, but she's got strong spirit sense, sharp instincts, and courage, plus, quite the brain to back it all up. That said, I can't help but think that there's something. There's some kind of darkness following her around. 
She's certainly well versed in the paranormal. I just can't get over the darkness. 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 So this is Yaku Sakuzaki. She was with Mio. Could she be a friend? Did Mio finally make a friend? <laughs> He's like surprised. Mio can actually make friends? What? If she did, it would be this old man's heart good. It would do this old man heart good. But I better not say that out loud. Don't want her to make him a bad look. Oh, we already... Ah, I didn't mean to click that. If it was Michio and I came back to life. If I was Michio and I came back to life, where would I go? That's the question. She got her revenge on Junshi, but she may have more revenge to dish out. Is there anyone else she'd have a grudge against? Well, what about that guy who killed her in the collision? If she really did come back to life, then it's terribly sad that she's spending her new chance of life like this. Being obsessed with the re revenge is such a tragic way to live. Alright, we finished. I'm afraid that's all we can tell you. Don't worry, you're you were a big help, thank you. You should start we should start our search for Me Nijima and Mayu Chunzawa. Zuzawa Chozua Um I completely forgot what I was saying. It might be worth it to check Michio's house as well, just in case. Let's use the school as our base of operations. If anything happens, go to one of the officers hanging around here. Got it. Thank you and good luck. We'll go talk to Mr. Arashi about a way to lift the curse. I mean the duck. Sorry. Alright, boss. Let's get going whenever you're ready. Let's go. Nice. Okay. Uh, summary of previous events. Uh, Haru and Richard visit Michio's home, having determined her to be a key player in the unresolved kidnapping case from a year before. As the complicated story begins to unravel, they encounter two men. We're back, baby! Back with Shigima. I'm loving this music, very jazzy. Ma'am, allow me to introduce one of our country's most elite detectives. The name's Jun Arrow. I'd hardly call myself elite, but either way, it's nice to meet you. This here is the brilliant Chief Inspector Tsumi, and yes, he's just as rough and tumble as he looks. Sometimes I really don't know if you're complimenting or putting me down. So you two are detectives? This is my client, Miss Haru Shigima. Her father's a big deal in the police himself, so remember to mind your manners. A bigwig named Shigima? Boss, you know of this guy? Shit, I've heard of the name, but you know I don't keep track of who's in the upper enchilons. There's no need to worry. I am my own person after all. My father has nothing to do with any of this. Oh, did you hear that, boss? Looks like you're getting off easy again this time. Don't make it sound like I'm involved in some shady business. It ain't like that. You both seem rather jovial despite being detectives. How rare. All the police officers I've met have always been so dull. Ah, I missed- <laughs> you clicked my mouse by accident. Well, you won't find any dull cops here. We'll round up all your criminals with a smile. That's our motto. <laughs> How lovely. Keep it up. Just hold on one second. This is the first time I'm hearing of that. Well, you're right about them not being your typical detectives. He seemed like he's got a lot of experience working the streets. Most of the officers I know are the bureaucratic desk jockey type types. The contract is rather striking. Contrast is rather striking. A young and energetic detective. He seems to have a strong sense of justice. My son had the chance to grow older. Perhaps he would become an officer just like him. It is your son. From the future! I thought we might cause trouble standing in the middle of the street talking like this, but so far we haven't drawn attention. Then again, it might just be because nobody wants to get involved with the case. That there'd be just another mockingbird there. There is! 
Yeah, there was one here. Lucky. That's number 12. The Royal Kingpin Guinea. Oh, that's so. Look at him. He's a penguin. Okay. Nice. It seems they were acquainted, but also like they haven't talked in a long time. I guess knowing how to deal with cops is also part of an investigator's job. Not quite. There's two of us used to be comrades is all. Comrades? Comrades. Communism! I'm so good at jumping. It's almost like I can fly. Wow, that's so weird. It's almost like you're a flying Pokemon or anything. That's right, Richard used to be part of the police force himself. He quit a few years ago to go solo. Is that so? You should give it a try, Arrow. There's more freedom in working as a private investigator. I can't say much for the quality of life, though. It's been two years, right? I hadn't heard of you since you quit. I didn't think your business would last, but here you are. You sure you, you, sure you don't want to return to the forest? We take you back with open arms. What? To sit on my ass and watch the birds fly? I'll take a pass. I don't belong in that world. Come on, Richard. We need your talent. The public needs you. Nah, you don't. This is my calling. The police will manage just fine without me. He puts the hat on. I'll keep on trying. Tying up all your loose ends. Saving the little birdies you abandon. Damn, that's a line right there. Uh... Outcore? No, I haven't. Can't believe you are actually part of the police force once. There's a story behind everything, ma'am. I don't regret my time on the force. I wouldn't have the connections I have today without it. Nice. Nothing else to look at? Doesn't look like it. Okay. What brings you here, Richter? You want a case? Free on Steam. It's lots of fun. Here, let me pull up Steam. Just pull this off. Oh my goodness, there's actually a 90. There's a sale going on for Warner Brother games. Let's have a look, actually. Let's have a quick little look see around to see what's here. Of course, the Lego games are on sale, but I already have the Lego games. Because obviously. What is this? Back for Blood is on sale, 80% off. Oh. And take itself seriously at all which is great good any game that doesn't really take itself seriously but it's still a good game is always good in my eyes you know what i mean what else is for sale here let's see we got injustice we got all the lego games are there any lego games that's on sale that i don't have oh, there's a bunch of dlcs i could get the runaways i could get the runaways so that's only 10 percent off uh, Clone Wars, Cloak and Dagger. They have a lot of Marvel DLCs. There's a ton of Marvel ones, and they're all just ten percent off though. So, I mean, how much was that one? Ant Man. So many heroes. But what does this do? I get the DLC. Do I just get them in the game then? I have this DLC, Masters of something. Aquaman. I have quite a few of these DLCs already. Huh, interesting. I didn't even realize I had them. Must have gotten them at some point. Hobbit DLCs, Jurassic Park DLCs. Batman 3. I already have Batman 3. That's another DLC. Why are so many DLCs? Star Wars, Star Wars. What's that? I think I have all of the... Oh, I don't have Lego Ninjago, which is on sale. Uh, I already have Force Awakens. I already have all those games. I don't have the Lego movie video game. We get the Lego movie video game. Those are only five dollars. Yeah, but I have all the Lego games. I think all the base games except those ones are right, going around in your computer for sometimes, so it might be tough to stream. Maybe. 
that requires me having files on my computer. I don't really have too many files besides editing files on my games, but... Outcourt. Desktop adventure. Interesting. <laughs> Why is there a sock puppet? Interesting. I'm adding it to my library. It adds files that are used for the game. Just make sure there isn't anything you want to be secret in there. No. All my secrets. All my secrets. You'll see all my secrets. No. Killing Floor 2 is on sale. Now I'm just looking at all everything that's on sale. Scarlet Hollow. I don't know what that is. Jedi Survivor is 30% off. Battlefield's on sale. Rain World is on sale. Do I get Rain World? That game looked difficult though. Hmm. 60%. You know, we'll keep that in the back of my mind for right now. Right now we have another game that we're playing. That's right, I'm picking up the police's slack. I trust you remember the kidnapping and murder case from last year. Try wearing world, but I feel like it pissed me off. I know. I, s I was watching uh, Ludwig play a little bit of it, and he was just getting upset of at it. And I was like, if I try this, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break something, or you know, <laughs> like I'm just gonna like get halfway through and I'm gonna give up. <laughs> Oh, I remember now that you're- you're that Haru Shigema from the kidnapping case. Huh? Did I miss something? Don't be an idiot. It was the case where Mansuda Shigema's grandson was kidnapped. That's just a play and he was struggling a ton. Oh yeah, 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 his video too. Ugh. He had so many- he had like a bunch of different- what did he name his little guy? I don't remember. But he was like, this is number 30, this is number 45. You know? <laughs> Which must have been your son, ma'am. Indeed, the story was suppressed by the news. In the end, it considered a huge failure on the police department's part. Sploof, that's right. Poor Sploof. More of the investigation was conducted in secret. And unfortunately, the department is unwilling to reopen the case. Any investigation carried out afterwards turned up nothing at all, which is why I'm now on the job. So, they never caught the culprit, huh? That's rough. So your findings have brought you to this place, then? That's right. The individual connected to the case used to live around here. Used to? That's right. As of last week, they're deceased. We'd hope to talk to the family. No one was home when I checked last time, so we figured we'd try again. Interesting. Think. So these detectives are out here because of the recent stirrings of strange deaths. It's best we keep quiet about our involvement with the curses. Or with the ducks. By the way, ma'am, this might be sudden, but there's something I'd like to confirm with you. And that is? Do you happen to know anything about the seven mysteries of Honjo? Sorry, Chief, but that's hardly... With all due respect, Investigator, I think my question was addressed to the lady. Hm. <laughs> if you insist... What do you say, ma'am? Can you tell us anything? Um... I don't know much. I've heard of the seven mysteries, but this talk of ducks eludes me. Is that so? Well, I'm sorry for the intrusion. Come to think of it, I've heard some things about this area last night. Something about a strange yet conspicuous man dressed in white loitering around. Wait a sec. I assume they were talking about you, investigator. <laughs> they just saw they saw Michael Jackson just <laughs> around corners. Well, I won't argue that I am strange and conspicuously dressed in white. 
It's like, you're even wearing the same outfit from yesterday. I, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. And as it turns out, I was out here last night to conduct my investigation. <laughs> I love the Jojo pose that he's like staying in, just like, Hua, Hua. Do you run into anything strange or out of the ordinary? Out of the ordinary? Hmm. I guess I did observe a few suspicious characters. You were asking about k ducks just now. Why would a public servant be investigating and in interested in the occult? Boss, Richard's a smart man. We, he can't. He can help us if we tell him what we know. I can't promise I'll be of any help to you, but I'm interested in hearing what you got to say. Something is happening in Honjo, isn't there? It must be something big if they've got you head of off head of office guys on it. I've been muting myself because I'm yawning a whole bunch right now. Well, I guess it's all right. Desperate times calls for desperate measures. Thank you, boss. Listen closely to what we're about to say, Richard. Huh. So by ducks to commit murders, these people collect soul dregs to perform the rite of resurrection. And these duck stones are somehow connected to the seven mysteries of Honjo. It's a tough story to swallow, but I don't see a reason to doubt your, you either. We figured the strange occurrences happening around here recently are connected to these ducks. To get this situation under control, we've been searching for the duck bears to confiscate their duck stones. Do you have any information that might help us? That's tough. I've never expected ducks to, and other mumbo jumbo to play into all this all. But if we're talking shady characters, there was this middle-aged fellow I saw on South Borgesi Street. He had an average build. He was anxious, like he was searching for prey boss what do you think well considering the location it could have been Hideke Arashi we've already got his duck stone impressive you two are working quick did you see anything else not that I can remember that's a shame and then just right back to the other it sure doesn't look good on the police to be mishandling cases like these if there really was a culprit, it should be our responsibility to bring them to justice. Well, I do consider the police my people. So you consider the blame to be shared. You've got a stern side as well, I see. Uh, Rusher's amazing. He's coaxed out so much information we didn't know about the, the duck bearers from them. There's no way we could cooperate with them when they're trying to get their hands on the right ourselves. If you see any characters who look like they might be carrying a curse stone, it'd be a huge help if you let us know. Absolutely, I'll let you know if I find anything. Richard, perhaps you could lend a hand on the case too. There's a number of people we can't track and find a missing persons happen to be your special your specialty, you know? I hate to disappoint you, but I'm busy enough with this case. The faith in my clients is what keeps me afloat. I have to prioritize requests by the order in which they come. I see. Well, can't say that's not fair. What do you mean a private investigator for anywhere? What do you need a private investigator for anyway? The cops should have plenty of right folks to throw at the job. True, but this isn't an ordinary case we're dealing with here. done talking to him talking to him huh by the way that reminds me Richter yes you said the person who used to live here died last week can we get a boss fight you can start a boss fight I think you just do exclamation boss fight if you want to do a boss fight with the avatars you want to be referring to Michi or Sarashi by chance you knew I thought so it seems like we're here for the same reason then Seriously, Michio was involved with curses and magic? Strictly speaking, 
the curse part isn't our I mean the duck part isn't our concern I'm so sorry we're looking into Yoshimi's case Yoshimi oh right Hajime Yoshimi's that's right I think only you can start games like a boss hold on I didn't spell that right Commands. I need to find the command. Um. Where is? Oh, okay. It's literally just that. All right. Well then. Well, I'm stupid. There we go. That's right, he died in the job. I'm sure you've heard of it. I heard. It was the most unfortunate loss. So there's a connection between Hajime Yoshimi and the juvenile division of Michio. Well, hold on. Let's focus on Michio for a second. You think she had something to do with the kidnapping? Hmm. Talk about unforeseen developments. Exchanging information should prove mutually beneficial. I'll tell you what I know, but in turn, I want the full scoop on your findings concerning Michio. Sure, to tell you the truth. And then, info dump. What? You believe Michio's ghost is the one who killed Mr. Jonchi? So he wasn't just mumbling nonsense? I mean, we haven't fully confirmed anything yet, but the testimonies we've heard and the evidence we found point in that direction. But the one be one of boss, and I know you're gonna win. You got this, Shadow. Tes testimony, you mean from those uh, psychic high schoolers? Didn't they also say there was a chance Michio hadn't killed herself? Wait, if that's true then, did you figure something out? Kinshiro Iowa, huh? Kinshiro Iowa, he was the next victim. We have to open the door to this Sarashi's house. We need to look inside. Hey, what's gotten into you? Boss. <laughs> They're like all freaked out by him. I'm sure the landlord would give us a key if we asked. Screw that. You know how long that could take. We could ask for permission later. <laughs> he just runs, <laughs> breaks down the door. Hey, <laughs> Richard, calm down. You can't just... Uh, take that, you shitty door. <laughs> That's how you do it. Oh my god. Kicking the door down. Richard, get a hold of yourself. I see you're still the same as always. Everyone, come quick. Look at this. Oh, damn. Ah. Uh, whoa, what's up with this room? Boss, there's a dead body in here. Whoa, could that mean be Michio's dad? Nah, he's her stepdad at best. If that, uh, it's got to be the body of Kanchiro Aiwa. It's at the door, dude. The door did a lot, apparently. There's no doubt about it. The man's a goner. He's gotten real messed up. It looks like he's been like this for a while. I'd say it happened last night. Ero, did you find Jonshi's body in the same state? Now that you mention it, it looked as though Kohei Jonshi had died from a number of heavy blows. What are you suggesting, investigator? It was Michio Shirashi. She's alive. She used the power for the, the ducks to get back to the man who ruined her life. That's ridiculous. You're suggesting she actually revived? It's gotta be that. And if she's alive, then... Huh? Storyteller. Hi. My apologies for interrupting. I know we've just arrived at an interesting plot point, but you... Do you really think a dead girl is going around taking revenge from beyond the grave? Consider this. What if Michio Surachi never died? But seeing as you've come this far, I'm sure you already know the truth, don't you? And so, I would have you answer me a question. Where in Hanjo was Michio Surachi at the hour of 8 o'clock this morning? What do you mean? How am I supposed to know this? I, I guess I'd say the school? 
Hmm, I see, I see. So that's what you think. Don't toy with me! I don't know! Take this moment and reconsider what you know and choose again, shall we? I guess maybe... Wait... I guess maybe here? Because this is the park where Shogo died, I see. It's what you think. Let's take a moment and reconsider. Okay, so that wasn't it. Your pseudo gardens then. <laughs> that was wrong. Okay. At least it's just letting me guess them all. So we did this one, we did this one. Let's go with the bridge. It's not the bridge. It's gonna be the last one that I pick, isn't it? The candy shop. Oh my god, stop. Congratulations, you are correct. Let's go! You got it wrong five times. Well, it's a trivial matter. Shut up. It may have been easier to reach that conclusion had you considered the cause of death. Let's get back to the story then, shall we? I've taken up enough of your time. What do you mean the cause of death? Well, bye. What? So you really think Michio Shirashi's alive? Just think it through and it all comes obvious. It tracks, but... Do you really think that the girl would have mentioned all of this? First of all, Arrow, go report this to HQ. Understood. I'll get on it right away. Wow. Who is that? I'll start investigating this place. It sure isn't lacking in stuff I'm looking for. It's a bunch of photos of the same person posted on the wall all over there. Huh? Whoa, well, now, hold on. These photos? These are all of Fumichika Nijima. Gross. Ew, he doesn't... Look at those beady eyes. Those are the eyes of a killer. Really? Come to think of it, he was one of the papers got a lot back in the day. Oh, there's even more plastered up over there. These are all cutouts from the newspaper and magazines about the Nejima murders. Bro, he's a Discord mob. Straight up. I don't get it. Why the weirdo shrine? Let's keep looking around. Uh, look at these. Pictures of Fumichika Nejima cut out from a newspapers and magazines. Whoever put these up was obsessed. I wonder what their intent was. You think the Shirashis are somehow connected to Nejima's case? Perhaps they did this as to not forget a grudge or something. It's crazy to think Nejima might be involved in this too. Hmm? Do you think he might have anything to do with the body here? Maybe. The man's already out on parole. He is a duck bear with a duck stone. He announced that from sundown today he'll be go going on a killing spree. Oh dear. There's an emergency search underway as we speak, but no one's yet managed to get a hold of the bastard. So he hasn't changed his ways. So that doesn't bode well. To tell you the truth, the lady isn't completely unconnected from the G Nijima murders either. You don't say. That's right. We talked about it last night. 20 years ago, I found the hand in Sumida River that brought the incident to light. You don't say. You were the kid from back then? You were really brave. You did a great deed. Uh, were you the detective I spoke with? I had no idea. So you two have met before. Fancy that. I've been worried that Fumika... Fumichika Nejima might bear resentment towards you, ma'am. Hmm, you might be right. I scowl at boss. <laughs> Unfortunately, that asshole is quite the resentful type. Oh dear. That asshole. I wonder who put the idea in his head, and now he's got the one-sided read, too. He's threatening to massacre the people of Honjo at sundown. Seriously? On top of that, he's been itching to get revenge on me as well. Of all things, the man sent and threatened to kill my daughter. Damn, that's quite the threat. Certainly, you can't afford to stay put here. The fucker wants to get us all angsty, antsy. When I finally get to arrest him, I'll be with a cool head. Not gonna give him the pleasure, huh? Well, if Iwa and Fumi Fumichika and Nejima have anything to do with each other, then this room might hold a crew to Nejima's location. Let's hope so. The person who put all these photos up must have been possessed, obsessed with Nejima. 
No, Shadow! No, NPCs! They might have had some relation to Jima's victims, or perhaps it was the opposite. No, the boss, Hakuri. Thank you, Pumpkin King. The opposite? What if it wasn't loathing but admiration? But then... No, I didn't mean to do that. Old books. These are the old books scattered everywhere. I wonder what they're about. Many of them are written in a foreign language. It'll be a pain to look through all of these. Let's save them for later and continue to look around. Floor. It's off-putting to look at, but I can't help but wonder what in the world this is. They're magic runes. They're used in Western black magic rituals. Most of the time, they're useless intimidations, though. I wouldn't get too excited about it. Oh my, who knew the chief inspector is such an expert on the occult? I just changed upon the information. I just chanced upon the information. That girl with the spirit sense we mentioned, she's pretty informed on the subject. Hmm. Someone was attempting to perform western black magic in this place. Pretty absurd if you ask me. Of course, the person in question was dead serious about it all. Ooh. Western black magic. While magic is often classed as a branch of mystific myst mysticism or may variously refer to the likes of witchcraft or astrology, here it refers specifically to western black magic. In the Middle Ages, the line between science and magic were blurred with the pursuit of the supernatural considering a legitimate academic discipline. Astrology was regarded akin to astronomy, while alchemy was accepted as scientific fact and would eventually evolve into what is known today as chemistry. One discipline, however, was considered wicked and shunned accordingly, black magic. The practice of using magical knowledge to strike a bargain with demons. In contrast to the socially acceptable subjects studied by the intelligentsia black magic was most prolific amongst the lower classes it was the common people who suffered most from the ills of the day war famine and sickness which perhaps led to them to sneak aid from unholy power as hearsay these rituals and spells were nowhere to be found in orthodox messages of teaching but instead were recorded in tomes of dubious credibility cool i guess drawer this drawer is really old chief inspector do you mind if i look inside huh i mean in normal cases only the police would be allowed to touch things right right arrow isn't here so let me take a look at it there's just clothes in here not much variety either can't say they were big spenders well i was hoping to find a kind of talisman here but i guess we're not so lucky i see thank you anyway Sliding door. The sliding door leads to the kitchen. It barely fits the frame. It looks like these things spread around have been like this for a while now. This ritual or whatever was something he attempted up to recently. Plenty of the neighbors mentioned having heard strange mantra-like noises coming from here during the night. You think Iwa was the one chanting? Hard to say. It could have been one of the Sarashis as well. If we look through these books in the back, we might learn whatever it is we're trying to do. It'll be a pain to look through all of these. Let's save them for later and continue to look around, okay? There's candles and stones which, with inscriptions placed all over. Are those tools for some ritual? Hey, don't touch anything, you hear? Ah, uh, that's right. Considering this is a murder scene, we ought to leave everything as it is. All of this can be used as evidence. If anyone besides forensics toys with it, it'll cause trouble down the road. corpse there's nothing around to confirm his identity but the looks of him it says i'd say he's kanshiro aiwa uh we've seen him before i heard he had a criminal record so i assume he wouldn't have had a respectable occupation is this what a curse does to a person ma'am you'd be better not to look so closely it's amazing Wait, it's amazing? What? Okay, hold on. Save here. Okay. I'm gonna be ending real quick. Hold on. We're done with title. Yes.
We're gonna have to end real quick. Because I can hear people are home at the moment. So. Let's see, is anyone I know live? There's gotta be someone I know who's live. Not really. There's nobody I'd want to raid. Let me bomb Timmy at least once. You've you've bombed enough. You need an intervention, Shadow. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'll end it here. It's getting late anyhow. I'm gonna go upstairs. Maybe I'll be on doing something else later, but who knows? Uh jump <laughs> Shadow, there's nothing to jump. Shadow Shadow, please. Please, Shadow. There's nothing there. We we need to talk about this. Oh my god. Someone just blew up. I don't know what you're doing, but Shadow's Bomberman from Bomberman 64. That is true. I just turned to the things and someone just blew up, so someone's dead. Anyway, good night, guys. Have a good night. Sleep tight. Let the bed bugs bite because they deserve it. All right. Bye bye.